guys so i am here to intro my birthday vlog i'm finally doing a proper intro for one of these vlogs um but yeah so i will be celebrating my 24th birthday this weekend my birthday is actually on october 25th um but that's on a wednesday so we're gonna be doing all of my birthday festivities this weekend i'm actually just gonna be chilling for the most part for like the first couple of days i'm actually um heading to nova um, and today is the 19th and so I will be kind of just chilling at the crib um, I'm gonna be staying with my line sisters and hanging out with them as well as Mackenzie who you guys saw in my VidCon vlog so she will be with us as well and yeah Saturday is going to be the majority of what is taking place um, I have a photo shoot plan that I'm really excited about. I'm going to go to Howard's Homecoming as well. This will be my first ever HBCU um, Homecoming and I'm really excited that I get to go. Granted, tailgates usually aren't my thing, but I am tired of having FOMO and I get tired of every single year I go on IG and I see that everybody is at Howard's Homecoming having a good time and i'm not there and i'm like dang i wish i could get to experience that and also too um funny enough real quick side story i actually had a friend who invited me to howard's homecoming like years ago and she ended up bailing on me and went without me and so this is my little revenge <laughs> my little payback if you will um because you know i've never been i've literally never been to howard i've never been to howard's homecoming i've never been to i don't think i've been i've been to a homecoming tailgate and that includes george mason as well um i'm into george mason's like gold rush but not their homecoming stuff and so this will be my first homecoming tailgate at a hbcu so i'm really excited about that and then i'm going to be ending the night with a birthday dinner and so as always i am really excited to show you guys all the things take you along with me for this weekend as you guys know this year has been really really hard on me it's, it's been a tough one and so this birthday in particular i want to make sure that uh, i'm sorry if i'm wobbling the camera a lot my arm is low-key getting tired <laughs> um but yeah, like I just really want to make sure that I celebrate myself this year. Um, the fact that I'm still here, the fact that I am in a better headspace and a better space in general than I was at the beginning of the year. I want to be able to celebrate that and I want to be able to spend my birthday with people that I love and that love me and that you know support me and so i'm really looking forward to just spending quality time with friends and just being able to celebrate you know how far i've come and the fact that i am you know here and i'm you know grateful to see 24 even though i feel kind of iffy about turning 24 and i'll probably make another youtube video about it about how i feel about this next chapter and where i am in life and if i thought this is where i would be in my life currently yeah i'm i am someone that takes birthdays very very seriously i am someone that has to do something you know even if my life isn't going the way i want it to i still feel the need to celebrate it because some people didn't make it this far you know and i i feel like i need to celebrate and be grateful for the fact that i am still here and that i can celebrate and so yeah i'm excited to bring you guys along for this weekend i'm trying to i will try to get as much footage as possible for you guys but um yeah hey guys so i just got to my line sister's place and so i got all my things set up over there and yeah as i said earlier we're just gonna be chilling um you know they have work so today and tomorrow i'm just going to be chilling here and then saturday is when all the fun stuff happens so yeah good morning y'all so it is now friday morning well really friday afternoon um i tend to <laughs> sleep in late so i'm just kind of now getting up and, and getting ready for the day um but as i said before i'm not doing much today i'm kind of just chilling um because everybody is currently at work and so yeah i spent the night actually in my line sister's room because she's out of town for a um like a work thing and so she said that i could sleep in her bed last night so that's what i did and so 
yeah i just ordered some uber eats to come i ordered papa john's and then i also ordered um a culotta from duncan <laughs> and so those will be here in about 20 minutes and so i'll show y'all that when that gets here all right y'all i just got my order so yeah i got the vanilla bean culotta from duncan and then i also got papa john's did my little custom order so whenever i do my own like custom pizza i always get extra sauce and sausage and so well also i got this uh garlic sauce i've actually never used the garlic sauce from papa john's but i low-key want to try it so i'm gonna try that and then i also got these uh red pepper flakes i've seen a few people use this as well and so yeah i just kind of want to you know spice it up change it up but yeah i'm about to go ahead and enjoy my lunch all right y'all so i got the sauce like i said this will be my first time trying this dipping sauce i've heard great things so i'm hoping that this is not uh over height so let's see it's not bad it's not bad literally everybody and their mama has been like you gotta try it with the garlic sauce so i tried it um it's okay but i could still probably do without <laughs> the sauce but it's not bad
show off that tattoo, girl. <laughs> over uh-huh oh put that arm out a little more yeah yep I'm on. I know <laughs> Y'all, we just got done with the photo shoot, and oh my god, <laughs> it looks so good. If y'all live in the DMV, book Asaya Freeman. Yeah, I'm for her info in the in the description. <laughs> this looks so good. All right, we did that. Period. All right, so now we're about to head back to the apartment to get ready for Howard's homecoming. Over. But it's cool. We're alive. We're well. We're here. Um, there's a lot of commotion. 
promotion. I don't know if y'all hear the, the siren in the background. Um, it's a lot of promotion going on. But yeah, how you feeling? First tailgate. Um, stress. Um, this is not for the socially anxious girlies. <laughs> no, literally. I'm like, all right. Is your phone working? Not really. Okay, mine is neither. We were trying to call Sia, but I don't know what it is. This is my tray. Hi. This is Zuri. We outside. We outside. <laughs> Bro, but for the time being, looks like we're about to get kicked out. We got free outside, y'all. No, literally. I told y'all I was gonna come outside more. Hell for the free. <laughs> So we're here, Hi. chilling. Um, we're still at Howard Homecoming. We are now at Yard Fest. Um, but I am sitting down because my feet are killing me. The pain is all the way from my toes to my knees. And so I am That's taking terrible. a breather. No, literally. <laughs> I am an old lady, but also I wore the wrong shoes. Like, these shoes were comfortable at first, but walking in them for like hours is like a lot. So, yeah, I, I'm taking a breather, taking a break. Um, and yeah, we've been here for like four hours. Um, so, yeah, any, any other thoughts? Um, yeah, it's a lot of people here. I mean, I feel like they could have done something to make it more organized. Because, like, homecoming is all obviously going to be crowded. So, like, I feel like there's stuff they could have done to make it more organized. Not that, like, I'm on the committee or anything, but <laughs> those are just my observations. <laughs> yeah, no. Like, I don't feel like they were, like, granted, I don't know when they're ever prepared for this many people, but I definitely feel like they were not prepared for the amount of people that uh, were going to pull up. Because, yeah, people were rushing the gates. There could be, like, signs. There could be, like, lines. Like, there could be, like, I don't know. I feel like they could just done more to, like, make it more, like, uniform of an experience. Yeah. But also it's tailgate. So, you know, yeah. this is kind of how tailgate goes. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I want direction. <laughs> I want organization. Yeah. So, I low-key feel like I've seen some celebrities, but I'm not sure. I didn't get a good look. But I feel like I might have seen some people. But I'm going to check on Instagram. I'm sure they're going to post if they did go here. So, but yeah. So I guess we're going to chill for like another hour or so. And then we're going to head to Founding Farmers for my birthday dinner. So, yeah. All right, y'all. So we just left Howard. And oh my God. Um, so we were just walking casually. You know, just minding our own business. And then next thing you know, everybody starts running. And listen, I've never been in a situation like that before where people just started taking off running. So I low-key was having a panic attack. Um, but we made it out safely. Yes, and we are now going to dinner. Yes, and now we're headed to dinner. Hi. I feel like I'm going to have to add, because uh, I, I could have a feeling that they might not be. Okay. 
y'all, so I realized that I did not properly close out my vlog. I swear, it's either one of the two. Either I don't intro the vlog or I don't close it out. So now I'm here to close it out. But, um, yeah, you know, 24. Um, I'm now filming this on Halloween, actually. And so I am officially 24 years old, which is crazy to think about. And honestly, I might make a whole separate video about that. But just to close things out with this vlog. So I will say, you know, this trip was, you know, it was, it was pretty good. I think the highlight for me for sure was the photo shoot and it's crazy because you know you guys have probably seen i've already posted the photos from the photo shoot on youtube as well as my instagram of course and i can honestly say like i really needed that photo shoot and what i mean by that is when i got those pictures back i honestly couldn't even believe that that was me like i literally was talking to like friends about it like and this this may sound crazy but it's just the fact of like i didn't even realize that I could look that good and you know I'm not normally someone that brags about like my physical appearance at all but honestly like that photo shoot really gave me like a huge boost in confidence that oh like if I really like put the effort in not to say that I haven't put the effort in in the past but even just taking the quote-unquote risk of you know wearing a dress that shows my stomach I've never done that before I'm not normally someone that shows a lot of skin either I mean you guys know y'all y'all see I be wearing oversized hoodies and sweatshirts and t-shirts I'm not normally someone that wears a lot of like revealing clothing and I'm, st I'm still not really like that but to know that in the event that I do that I can pull it off and I can pull it off well it, it kind of did something you know to my to my self-esteem and so you know again shout out to my line sister Asaya she did so good on those pictures I'm actually getting um a set of 30 photos from that photo shoot and so I was able to get 10 to quickly post for my birthday and then I'm getting you know the other ones later on but I mean yeah she definitely did her thing and I'm definitely going to be using her again um even if it's not for like a birthday thing like even if it's something like for my clothing line for instance like I'm for sure using her so make sure you guys uh check out her work but um yeah the photo shoot was definitely a highlight Howard's homecoming here's the thing <laughs> I'm not a tailgate person. You know, tailgates are normally, you know, you just, you're walking around, you're talking to people and you're drinking. And, you know, it's, that's just not usually what I consider to be a fun activity for me. But I still wanted to put myself out there and go. I literally had never went. And I think I even said earlier in this vlog that, you know, every single year, you know, when I go on Instagram, and I see that everybody's at Howard's homecoming. There is a bit of FOMO that hits where it's like, dang, like I kind of wish that I could experience that or, you know, I wish I was there with everybody. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to go this year. <laughs> and although I'm glad that I went and I'm glad that I can say that I had that experience, I can't say that I would do it again. I, I just didn't really end up enjoying it like I thought I would. Partly because for one, it got cold quick and two, my feet were in excruciating pain. Now, granted, was I wearing the wrong shoes yes but no and the reason why I say yes but no is because I wasn't intending on being at the tailgate for as long as we were at the tailgate I had plans to just be there for like an hour or two and then dip and we ended up staying there like throughout the entirety like once we got there we didn't leave until it ended and then we ended up walking to like another event and that wasn't really the plan <laughs> for me um i just i did not want to be out there for that long so had i known we were going to be out there for that long i probably would have wore different shoes because yeah like i said like my feet were in excruciating pain like i had pain like all the way from my toes all the way to my knees like it was like like every single walk was like excruciating pain and then not to mention that i was was freezing which again is that's why I don't normally like to do stuff in DC because it's a lot of walking and I've never been in DC when the weather is good every single time I've ever been in DC is literally just me walking for a long period of time my feet being in excruciating pain and me freezing to death that's why like I don't <laughs> I don't think I really have any good experiences in DC to this day and I've, I've been in DC a couple of times um you know in college and even after college 
DC is just not my thing, especially in the fall and the winter time. So yeah, I probably more than likely will not go to the tailgate again. But funny enough, when I was looking at the lineup for, you know, Howard's homecoming, I literally would have preferred to go to everything else except the tailgate. Like I know they had like a, uh, they had a Greek step show like the day before. They had performances that Friday. Granted, we weren't, we wouldn't been able to go to that stuff, but you know, like stuff like that, like they had a parade in the morning and they had the game like when I was looking at the entire list of events that they had for homecoming I'm like I would have loved to have gone to everything else except the tailgate and so it's giving next year if I do decide to go to Howard's homecoming or maybe another HBCU's homecoming I probably will opt out of the tailgate and I'll just find someone to come with me to go to like their other events because I would have loved to have you know seen some performances and things like that and so but you know it, it is what it is I had the experience at least I can say that I I you know tried it at least so then of course the night ended with founding farmers and I've had founding farmers before the first time I went it was in Tyson's and I essentially got the same thing granted I didn't get chicken and waffles I I had got just, I think, fried chicken and then, like, two sides. Um, that's what I got at Tyson's. Now, we went to the one in D.C. this time to compensate for being at Howard. And I will say <laughs> the Founding Farmers in D.C., for, in my opinion, wasn't as good as the one in Tyson's. Like, the chicken that I got was kind of dry. The macaroni and cheese barely had any cheese on it. Like, it just was mostly, like, noodle. And then there were green beans on there, but I don't really eat green beans, so I just didn't eat that now the waffle was pretty good the waffle was pretty delicious but the waffle got cold really fast honestly the highlight of my whole meal <laughs> to be completely honest was the the waffle and the milkshake that I got I don't know if I showed the milkshake on the vlog or not I might insert like a picture or something if I didn't but yeah that milkshake fire so fire um but even like the lemon lime soda that I got because I figured oh lemon lime is gonna taste like Sprite or it's gonna taste like Starry or you know one of the other like popular lemon lime sodas but I was mistaken <laughs> that lemon lime soda also was not good to me not to say that they did a bad job on the soda I think I just didn't I, I just didn't like it and so yeah I mean all in all even with all that being said I'm so glad that I went I'm so glad that I got to experience those things because it's better than sitting in the house but yeah I definitely think that next year I'll probably plan something a little bit different and it probably won't include homecoming activities but I don't know we'll see but yeah all in all that was the birthday vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope that it was uh entertaining enough for you guys I know that I don't consistently vlog on this channel like that honestly I don't think you guys prefer the vlogs um just going based off of you know the views that I get on vlogs typically but you know I do like to document you know important moments and you know when I get to do fun things I like to you know get it on camera as much as possible so I can look back you know a while from now and remember some of those fun moments that I had so even if people don't watch the vlogs I'm honestly filming the vlogs for me so I can go back and relive some of these memories that I'm having because you know I've been doing a whole lot this year if you guys haven't noticed I've been doing way more and I'm excited going into 2024 and now going into the age 24 to doing more and more things and experiencing more things and going to more places and so and as always whenever I do something fun and exciting I want to bring you guys along to you know to show some of the fun things that you know I've, I've been doing but yeah so that is it I've been talking for <laughs> 10 minutes it was not supposed to be that long but yeah I have way more videos to film today I know I haven't been as active on this channel and it honestly is just because I've been really busy um and I'm blessed to even say that I've I've been busy again with the birthday weekend and then a couple of days ago I went to go to the FNAF movie with a friend of mine so I'll be recording my thoughts on that but I probably will put it on the gaming channel so if you guys want to check out my thoughts on the FNAF movie stay tuned for that um but yeah I just I've been doing a lot and I still got more things coming up in the future and so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more vlogs like I said I don't do a whole lot but I've been doing a little bit more 
so let me know if you guys are enjoying these vlogs that i've been posting and let me know what other kinds of content you guys want to see from me and yeah so with that being said if you guys enjoyed the vlog make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next video